Okay, I'm standing here in Pineville, South Carolina, in front of an interesting grave of someone that I remember. I hope others might as well. But before I talk about this, let me read a Bible verse. Romans chapter 14 and verse 7. The Bible says, For none of us liveth to himself, and no man dieth to himself. And that's an interesting verse. It's kind of like it's saying that when you're alive, somebody's going to know you. And you're going to leave some sort of imprint on this life. You don't just get born and live and no one knows who you are. You, you do have influence. You do have a reputation. Other people will, will know who you are. And have you ever thought about that? When you die, will you be remembered? And what will you be remembered for? Well, we remember this guy. This is an interesting person. This is one of my heroes from when I was a kid. I remember reading about this guy. His name is Francis Marion. He died in 1795. And history remembers him as a great, great hero. He was remembered as the Swamp Fox. Francis Marion was called the Swamp Fox, and he fought against the British during the American Revolution. He fought a guerrilla warfare tactic, and he would hide out in the swamps and then come out and fight the British and go back. And he's just a great, great hero as remembered today. And I think about him, and I think about uh, people, my ancestors, we're here in South Carolina looking up my ancestors. And like the Bible says, no man liveth to himself, no man dieth to himself. Someone has had an impact, everybody in this life, on somebody. And it is amazing, amazing to me how we can remember somebody from, look at this, 1795. Um, you know, over way, way over 200 years ago. Um, my third great grandfather, we're going to go see the church where he was pastor. Uh, in the 1850s, 150 years ago. Uh, people can remember other people. That's why it's so important to have a good testimony so you're remembered as a good person, not a bad person. And if you're a Christian, that you're remembered as being a Christian. Now, I don't know if, if Francis Marion was a Christian, but I do know the stories about him and how he fought heroically. And this is his grave. Let's walk around and look. Uh, I like to go look at where people are buried. I like to look at how they end up. And think about, you know, if they are saved, one of these days that's going to burst off at the rapture and they're going to go flying through the top of that lid. But it says here, sacred to the memory of General Francis Marion, who departed this life on the 27th of February, 1795, in the 63rd year of his age. In those days people didn't live very old. A lot of times they'd die 50, 60 years old. A miracle if they made it to 70 or 80. But he was a patriot of the American Revolution, and right here next to him is his wife. And I always like how they, they write on top of their, their graves the eloquent speech. It says here, The servant of this shore, the mortal remains of Mary Esther Marion. And it says, Amongst the many virtues of this amiable lady, amiable is friendly, were those of piety, charity, affection, and benevolence and humanity particularly to her domestics she died lamented as she lived esteemed by all who knew her amazing what else does it say oh it just tells who else put it this monument sacred to the memory of the deceased erected by so and so so interesting what the sun just came out over here is some more of the family and these are the old uh, graves and everything else we're hopefully going to go see some graveyards and some churches uh, from the 1700s where my ancestors would be buried and I'm anxious to go see that as well but we were coming through South Carolina and I wanted to stop and I wanted to see where Francis Marion was buried because like I said reading about him as a kid and all the the war tactics and the things that he did just incredible so this is it this is where Francis Marion the swamp fox is buried and oh there's a movie starring Mel Gibson called The Patriot and the Patriot was loosely based upon the life of Francis Marion. Uh, actually, it was two or three other guys too, but the Patriot is, a, is more or less about uh, Francis Marion. And what's amazing is he was what's called the Goose Creek Boy. And that's where my ancestors in the 1700s came from. They came over from Switzerland, uh, the German border, and they settled in Goose Creek, St. James Goose Creek area. So uh, I watched that movie sometimes. It's actually decent, nothing bad in it. And I think about my ancestors. I think about Francis Marion and what they had to endure as they had to fight the evil British Empire during their day. So this is fun. We're enjoying this.
we're gonna go see some other stuff here too. So come along with us. Okay, so we're here at Marion Lake. Marion Lake, named after Francis Marion. Big lake, beautiful. Uh, lake Marion, Lake Moultrie, right next to each other. But this is Lake Marion, and if you remember in that movie, The Patriot, they were always going out in the swamp. But look how, just right off, there's like land out there. It kind of reminds me of the little area where they, they went, maybe out there. But they were more in a swamp, not on the lake. But it does remind you of the movie. It does look beautiful. There's a lot of little islands. I don't know if you can see that one over to the right over there. That island way out there. The guy told us the name. We just stopped and he told us I forgot. <laughs> but what a pretty, pretty place. Five dollars, you can launch your boat from here. I wish we had one that worked. So this is it. So we just talked to these guys and they said on the other side of the lake over there is an island called Church Island. It has an old church on it with a bunch of graves. And that kind of sounds like in the movie and the swamp where an old church was. So interesting. We're here at Harry's Boat Launch. Look out there, you see more swamp, more islands. So this lake has lots of islands in it. 